Meditation is food for the mind. The mind goes around feeding off things all day. And if you look at the things it's feeding off, a lot of times it's junk food. Things that give rise to more greed, more aversion, more delusion. So you need to clean that out of your system. So take a lot of good deep breaths. Think of the breath energy cleaning everything out. And you realize, of course, the problem is not with the things outside. It's not with the food itself. And food of all kinds it can sit there. It doesn't do any harm. It's when you take it in. You have to go looking for it. You have to go ingesting it. That's when it becomes junk food for the mind. That's when it causes problems. So you have to look at your habits. What am I doing that goes out and looks for trouble? And to see that clearly, the mind has to get still. and It has to have an alternative source of food, because otherwise it's going to be sneaking some meals on the side. So try to make the breath as pleasant as possible. Try to make your meditation object as pleasant as possible, whatever the object may be. So there's a sense of satisfaction that comes from sitting here with your eyes closed and doing nothing. There's that Stephen Colbert piece when he says, you wrap yourself in a cloth, you sit under a tree, and you breathe. This is Buddhism. Well, yeah, if you breathe well, it's really nice. And there's a sense of satisfaction that comes when the energy in the body is good. You can feed off that. And then from there you can start looking into the mind. What other traits does it have that would make it go off looking for other kinds of food? And you can be more discerning and more particular in what you realize is good for the mind and what's not good for the mind. Because when you're really hungry, everything looks good. And you can have excuses for anything you want. But when the mind is fed with the breath, okay, then you can start sorting out, okay, this is really bad for the mind down the line, so even though it may taste good right now, you put it aside. It's like the kinds of food you know that okay tastes good, but it's going to give you diarrhea the next day. Okay, you don't want it. And then you choose the foods that are actually good for the mind. The thoughts, the issues that out in the world that really do accomplish something good if you pay attention to them. And that you can feed on. So put yourself in a good position to be more picky about your food. Because you've got this internal source of food that you can always fall back on, and provides you with lots of nourishment.